first words ever said on film. <laughs> okay, you have a motto that you live by, just keep living, yeah. and I love that. How do you do that every day? Oh, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. It's, 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 it's something I try to apply to choices. I mean, there seems to be a just keep living choice with everything. And a lot of times it has to do with go for the pleasure in the moment. Sometimes it has to do with, wait a minute, what's the delayed gratification? It's the choice that I say will pay you back the most. Which choice do you make that gives you the most residuals in your life? Also, don't leave crumbs. Make the choice where you're not going to burn bridges, owe somebody something, screw them around, where you can't walk freely into the world without having to look over your shoulder because that causes stress later on. And so it's, it's, it's kind of based on some of those. I love that. So of all the misconceptions the public may have about you, what has been the most bizarre or shocking one that you've heard? Most bizarre, shocking misconception that, that, that people kind of thought that I just kind of rolled out of bed in the morning and showed up and did my work. I was working my butt off to make it look like I rolled out of bed to do that. Hard work. I, 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 like, to do, I like to do the hard work in the beginning because then I know if it works, I feel like I had something to do with it. If it doesn't work, I got to go back and figure out what I did wrong. What was harder, getting uh, Dallas Buyers Club off the ground or actually playing Ron's character? Getting it off the ground. That was harder. I mean, I had, because there was nobody, nobody was for it. It had been turned down for 20 years, 137 times it was, people said, no, we're not going to make it. So right. we had, well, the one-liner, basically. If you look at the one-liner, um, period piece age drama with a homophobic hero, that makes a lot of people say no, right off the bat. I understand that. But we always thought it at heart. We always thought it was going to be highly entertaining. We loved this guy, Ron Woodruff, even though he's a son of a bitch. We thought it was a very original story, and if we stuck to this man's life, we were going to have a story with the message. Um, but it took took the right amount of people and enough of us to get there and never flinch once we got a hold of it. And that's what we didn't do. We didn't flinch. It's a beautiful film. Yeah, thank beautiful. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fill along Just keep living. Click right here because we've got you covered when it comes to all things award show season.